All right, here we are. We're checking out our CAM Park, also known as University Park. CAM Park stands for Camarillo Regional Park, which was the old name of this particular site. Right now we're flying over the site and we're looking um, just about due westward towards the coast, towards the ocean, uh, the horizon. And on the center and to the uh, lower right, we're looking at Cayugas Creek. Right there, um, as we start to pan a little bit, you see the bridge over Cayugas Creek. This is Camarillo Street over Cayugas Creek. You can also see how we're on the edge of the Oxnard Plain. As we continue to, to spin, we see that this site is really, really on the exact edge of this very important alluvial plain. Very intense agriculture for um, well over 100 years here. Now, as we start to continue to pan, we see uh, we're coming back over the channel. We're looking up channel now. And now we're starting to get into the actual park area, the protected area. And as we keep spinning, we start to see some features. So as we look, as we start to look uh, down, um, what we'll see is, um, uh, first thing we see, there's a lot of uh, passive recreation. There's a lot of trails and things of that nature. Uh, and uh, all kinds of uh, places where folks can uh, go for walks, can go for hikes, etc. It's a very uh, heavily traversed area also in terms of access by utilities and other folks. Okay. All right, so as, as we're looking down now, what we're looking at here is um, part of a riparian corridor. Um, as we as we continue to look as we continue to look up, what we'll see here is this area really is defined by Cayugas Creek on one side and the hills, the toes of the Santa Monica Mountains right here on the left. So as we as we look a little bit to the right, what we see here, as we pause here, now there this area is levied. So this whole section of Cayugas Creek has been levied um, for. Uh, actually just about 100 years um, this section and so we have levees on the uh, northern side and the southern side of the river that's going to constrain the flow the, the primary flow this is a Cayugas Creek is a year-round flowing um, water body and these levees are going to act to constrain the flow these levees were put in because uh, farmers and other folks didn't like their lands being flooded um, so that's a, a huge hydrological constraint. Now, as we look straight down, what you'll see is um, we're right now over the historic floodplain. So this area you see with all this vegetation um, was an area that received seasonal flooding, sediment deposition, etc., when the levees did not exist. So either during um, heavy rain years, especially during things like El Nino years, etc., we still have a good amount of that hydrological function. So this is still parts of this are still a jurisdictional wetland, um, but obviously degraded and not as uh, well connected to the river as we might like to see. Other aspects of this site, um, by way of introduction, as, as we continue to look um, uh, up uh, into the other parts of this area, well, one we see this is really a, a riparian forest, right? So we have a mix of, uh, might be a little hard to tell from here, but we have a mix of things like a baccarus, we have a mix of things like oaks, we have a mix of things like sycamores. And if we pause here, the dark stuff, the dark, tall vegetation in the lower part of your view right now, most of that is uh, native vegetation. The, the stuff in the middle, in the upper right-hand part of your view, and as we're starting to look more in the center now, all that sort of lightish, um, yellowish, greenish, light greenish color, that is Arundo Donax. So that's a non-native invasive grass, actually, very similar to bamboo, and a huge problem in a lot of our riparian corridors. It comes down to an, into our salt marshes, it brings fire into our riparian corridors and our wetlands that didn't routinely get fire or didn't get intense fire, at least, and a huge problem. In addition to bringing fire in, it also really draws down the water table, and this, so this invasive species is a huge problem for stressing natives as well as bringing in uh, unwanted, unusual, non-normal disturbance into these systems. As we keep um, looking past the Arundo and, and, and leaving the channel again, looking more into the main part of uh, Cam Park, we start to see a bit more terrestrial vegetation. And if we pause here, so this, so as we look the view to the right, which is, def so here we're, we're defining this area basically by an access road and by um, the, uh, the, the channel, the, 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 the riverine channel. Uh, some of this area in here is definitely good wetland. We have a lot of 
wetland, not necessarily obligate, but a lot of wetland facultative uh, species. Um, and, uh, and, but as we, as we go more to the right, we get into more terrestrial vegetation. As we look farther up, in addition to these roads, what we can see is um, other infrastructure. So the big ponds up there to the left are uh, part of our water infrastructure. And so those are uh, 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 holding ponds for um, our water supply in the area. As we continue to look to the right, um, you'll see actually right there, pause right there, dead center, high up, we're looking at part of the old aspect that was campus. So this stuff here is um, part of the old barn and the old uh, old uh, uh, dairy and uh, poultry facilities that were part of the original uh, mental hospital when this was opened up in 1934. Um, and this and so the um, hospital had to be self-sustaining in many ways. So they actually grew a lot of their own food. And so, so these areas are part of that. As we continue to look in this sort of upland plain, and uh, in sort of grassy plain, and then look a little bit to the right. So this area right here off to the right is um, what's known as Condor Field. So this is, um, an, uh, this is a um, uh, recreational, uh, uh, passive recreation, well, it's actually active recreation uh, facility for folks that want to fly originally model control, model airplanes, remote control aircraft, etc. cetera. Uh, these days we use it for drones and other things as well. But this is an area that um, is uh, an important aspect, important user group, et cetera, of this, of this area, of this facility. And uh, so that, that's, a, that's a real quick tour of, um, of Cam Park and a, a real quick orientation. Again, we have river, we have the hills, we have this area in between that is more or less untouched except for the degraded hydrological connectivity with the river. So Cam Park in a late fall uh, in 2020.